Hello, this is Wendy Wu. Today we're going to do rock painting, uh, and we are going to actually paint on rock. And the rock I use is a river rock. So let me talk about the materials you're gonna need. Uh, river rock is a little bit more smooth, but sometimes uh, if you get a rock that has pores in it, what I do is then I use the wood filler to fill in the little holes. Then after you have your rock, river rock, uh, then you are going to paint your rock all white with the primer. Okay, so I use the primer to paint the whole rock white and probably about three layers. So you, you paint the first coating and you wait until it's dry and you paint the second coating front and back. And then after that, you are going to sketch your uh, pet rock your animal design. And what you're gonna need is you are going to need, I use a size eight brush, a round brush, and here is a liner, and this is size 20 over zero, uh, so you could get all the fine hair and details. In terms of, for the panda rock, this is what you're gonna need. You need acrylic paint, black acrylic paint, white, and I use yellow ochre, and burnt sienna and that's all you need in terms of color uh, and I have a palette to mix colors and paper towel okay let's go ahead and get started uh, I remember I talked about how you use the primer to coat your rock and after you coat your rock then you use pencil to sketch out the design the panda rock is a very easy one to do and that's what we're gonna do this one let me show you a little bit uh, all the way around so that's what the panda rock looks like in the back Okay, so it goes all the way around. And I'm gonna talk about how to make the coating for this panda rock. All right, so after you do your pencil sketch on the primer, that after it dries, then I use a thin Sharpie marker to trace the lines of the design. So you just trace it all the way around, including the eyes and so on, okay? And then I have a finished one here to show you. So at this point, I'm done outlining with the Sharpie marker of my panda rock, front and back. Now I'm ready to color. I'm going to use the size eight round brush, and this is just black acrylic paint. And I have my paper towel, and just go ahead and color in all the area that needs to be black. And I'm including the ears and around the eyes. Okay, at this point, we just paint all the black where it needs to be black, and front and back. And to make it more solid black, uh, I actually uh, have to do two coats of black. So you do one coat of black and when it dries you do the second coat. So right here I have the yellow ochre acrylic, the burnt sienna acrylic, and the white. And also I'm going to mix a burnt sienna with black so you get a dark brown right here. And then I'm going to have a different shade of brown. So um, this brown is a little bit darker and this brown right here is a little bit less black add to it. So, and then with that, you are going to add a little bit of uh, details here. And also inside the eyes, some brown in the eye for the panda 
and I'm going to also add some different brown, different shades of brown. Now I'm gonna add a brown that's a little bit lighter by adding a little bit of yellow ochre and a little bit of burnt sienna into this uh, yellow ochre. I'm going to just add some to the top section here. So you feel, you give it more uh, three dimensional form by having various uh, shades. Now, at this point, I'm gonna add a little bit of white to the yellow ochre and then I'm going to add right here. details so create a little bit more form okay remember earlier we were adding some shadow with the cheeks right here and also I would add tiny bit of white only at the tip of the brush then you could add some hair to make it look like you got hair coming out and and also underneath the eyes right here and then a couple of highlights in the eye. Okay, and then right here you need to have the dark shadow right here on the bottom where the stomach area is. And you want it to have it sort of like a gradation down here. And you have to do this front and back. Uh, and every time you switch side, like if you can do it in the back, then you need to wait until this part is dry before you could paint the back. Now I got, I still have the little bit of white and I'm gonna add some claw to the panda's paws right here. One, two, three. Yeah. Three, three is fine. Although they actually have five. But uh, a lot of times you can't really see the whole thing because you might be hidden behind it. So one, two, three. And also on the other side. I'm going to add some dark color. Now, this is when you want to use a small brush. Uh, this is called a liner. This kind of brush is called a liner. And then liner, then you get create little hairline details, make it look like their hair. And you want to create sort of like a gradation. So you want to have it the darkest part on the bottom and then gradually as you're moving up, it gets lighter and lighter. And you want to have this little thin lines with the liner brush so it looks like the hair of the panda bear. And as when you get lighter, higher, then you want to keep adding white to the brown. Okay, now just to show you how you want to create a gradation with the liner. So you start with the darker brown and gradually when you get to higher, you get lighter. And here's underneath, actually I'm letting some of the rocks showing. Depends on the kind of rock you have. Some rocks blend in fine, some you might need to paint around it. And as you could tell right here, I'm going to also add some lines. And you could just do this for a long time. Depends on how detailed you want your animal rock to be. Now, I, as you could tell, I added some uh, lines here. So you also wanted to create a little bit of gradation where the, the black area is. And then as you could tell, for the eyes, it's very important. 
You want to have a dark brown here for the top of the eye and the white line on the bottom and then just a couple of little highlights for it, the eyes. Now for the nose, inside the nose, not inside the nose, but the bottom of the nose. I added kind of a brown line here and just a little, uh, little shadow. Now to create this shadow right here, I use white with very little black. So it's sort of like a very light gray. You could add a tiny bit of brown in it, but not too much. So it's still kind of uh, in the shade of um, gray color. And then you could, on top of the nose, you add a little bit of line. And then uh, when you get higher, where the nose is, you could add some white, make it slight gradation. Okay, at this point we're done with painting. Make sure the eyes have the highlight in it. And then you have the shadow where the, the cheek is and the bottom and the paw. I'm going to turn this panda around so you could see what the panda looks like. And we are ready for the last stage. Okay, now here is the last stage. I'm done with the painting. Now I need to give it a cold to seal the paint. And this is what I use. I use the Ultra Cover Premium uh, Gloss Clear. Uh, it's like a, a very good uh, sealer. Now I'm gonna open it. Make sure you use a clean brush. And, and then uh, when you do the last stage, the rock needs to be completely dry and you're all done with uh, whatever you need to do with the rock. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint it. See how it has this gloss look. Now if you don't like the gloss look, then you could buy the matte finish. The one that I got is gloss clear, but they do come in matte finish. Then that does not have the shiny look to it, but I just like the shiny look. Okay, I just blow dry this part and now I'm going to uh, turn, turn it around and the back I haven't put the gloss medium so I'm going to seal it now with the gloss medium for the back and don't forget to paint the bottom uh, around it on the edge. And sometimes that you might need two or three coating if you want it to be really shining. Uh, and also, if you want to repaint it, you could do that with this uh, gloss medium. So in case you want to touch up, you could do that. If you enjoyed this lesson, please leave me a like or subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.